Hi everybody, it's Kathy and welcome back to another Nordstrom's anniversary sale video. Last week I shared my wish list. I thought it would be fun in this video to show you things that I have purchased from Nordstrom in the past that I absolutely love and use all of the time. So if you want to get some inspiration for what to buy, my wish list and recommendations, go check out last week's video. I will link it below in the description box and everything that I mention will be listed below as well. And thank you so much beforehand. If you shop using my links, I appreciate your support as always. So I've divided things into three separate categories, uh, beauty and skincare, fashion, and then what I call lifestyle. And I'm so happy now because my fellow Canadians, Nordstrom now offers free shipping and free returns to us whenever you buy from the Nordstrom Canada website. So keep that in mind. If you were thinking of placing an order this year, if you don't like something, you can return it. And I have returned a few things, no issues whatsoever. And actually, if you watch my video from last week about my Nordstrom wish list, I explain where I received something that was damaged and the awesome service that I received from Nordstrom. So go check that out. And uh, just wanted to let you know that in Canada, it's awesome now that we can get free shipping and free returns because shipping in Canada is really expensive. I do have a beef with the Nordstrom sale. As a Canadian, we cannot preview what the sale items are on the Canadian site. And I don't think that we're going to get access to as many items or as many bargains as you can on the US site, which is annoying because I don't know why we are being treated any differently. And I really wish that Nordstrom would address that because how can I possibly plan to buy something if I can't even preview what is in the sale? And I've talked to some of my Canadian friends and they totally agree. Now I think that we can still order from the Nordstrom.com site and it gets shipped through border free, but then we're stuck with duties and taxes and we still have to pay shipping. So I really wish Nordstrom would offer the same service that our American friends get because I know that I would order a lot more if, um, if I could preview the sale. So I have a lot to cover. I'm going to dive right into it. The first thing that I recommend, and this is uh, mainly for my US friends because it's not available to us in Canada online, is anything by PCA Skincare. I've been using the medical grade PCA Skincare line since December of last year. Uh, I love it. I really notice a difference in my skin and you can check out uh, my videos linked below about the skincare line and I also have an updated one coming up in the next few weeks. But you cannot go wrong with most of the products in that line. Really, really have been enjoying them and noticing a difference. Another hit that uh, I have recommended to some of you and you have loved it as well is the Dior Dream Skin Cushion Foundation. You can check out my video that I did on that. I like something that is quick and easy and portable. Uh, the Dream Skin Cushion Foundation, I would say, is light to medium coverage, and it really applies nicely and evenly, and it wears very nicely all throughout the day. It really looks like my skin uh, whenever I'm wearing it, like it doesn't have that cakey look, which I hate. And because I have oily skin, I also don't like feeling like I have something on my skin. And when I found this cushion foundation, I could really get rid of all of my other foundations because it just, it really does feel like skin. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing it at all. And my face does not get like an oil slick, um, like it can sometimes with other foundations. So I highly recommend that. And another favorite Dior product that I've shown you many times, love, I own three and I may buy another, is the Dior Lip Balm. It's in a uh, tube like a lipstick and it comes in multiple colors, but I love lip gloss, lip balms, and this is very hydrating. It's not tacky or sticky. I really do like the Dior Lip Balm. It's very creamy and it, it hydrates my lips. There are a lot of fun colors to choose from. The next thing that I own and love is actually a Bobbi Brown product and it is her hydrating eye cream. I really love that eye cream. When I finished my last jar of it, I decided I wanted to try a different company. I have to say I'm going back to the Bobbi Brown once 
the other one that I'm using is finished because I just noticed an instant difference with the Bobbi Brown eye cream. I had, used to have a problem with oily eyelids and I don't know what happened. I can't explain it. But whenever I started using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, it's like my oily eyelids stop being oily anymore. And I really don't understand why it would have that effect, but I love it. And I used to have a lot of tiny little wrinkles and it looked a little dry under the eye. And I've been using that probably for two and a half years. And I really noticed a difference when I use the eye cream. I'm my more hydrated under the eye. And like I said, I don't have the oil slick on the eyelids. And a little bit goes a long way. Uh, one of the jars I think lasted me probably nine to 10 months and that's using it morning and night. And it really goes well underneath eye makeup. I still always prime my eyelids, but it doesn't, um, you know, make your eyeshadow look splotchy or it, it just does a really nice job for the eyelids. Another staple that is always sitting on my counter is by Caudalie and it is their grape water. I love to uh, give my face a spritz of that during the summertime when it's really hot. You know, midday, sometimes you're just feeling a little, um, I don't know, tired or whatever. I go into my bathroom, I give a couple of spritzes of that on my face and it just seems to energize me. Sometimes I will also, after I get out of the shower and I've washed and toned my face, I just like to put a couple of squirts of the grape water onto my skin and I don't even have to pat it in because my skin just seems to really absorb it well. And then I'll put my nighttime skincare products on my skin. It's just a really nice, refreshing um, thing to have in your arsenal, I think. You can also use it as a setting spray. I haven't, but some of you have messaged me and said that you use it as a setting spray. So that was just another tip for you. Something that I have used in the past, I'm not currently using, but I forgot how much I enjoyed this. It's by First Aid Beauty and it's their facial radiance pads. I love to tone my face because I have oily skin. It's just an extra step in my skincare routine that just makes me feel clean and fresh. And I love the radiance pads because they are pre-soaked with, I believe it's a glycolic acid. The cotton pad, it has a little bit of a grit to it, but it's not hard on your face. But I just feel whenever I use them, it just takes away any dead skin that's on the surface or any oiliness, or it just makes me feel fresh. And if you're looking for like an easy toner for your face, I highly recommend those. Now, whenever I was looking on the Nordstrom site, I didn't realize that Nordstrom carries IT Cosmetics. In the US they do, I'm not sure about Canada, if you've been with me for a while, you know I love IT Cosmetics and the IT Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer is my holy grail. I have been through so many jars of that moisturizer, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many I have used. It's a really great moisturizer for in the winter time. It really uh, absorbs into my skin, doesn't make my skin oily. And I always just like to keep some on hand because even though I'm strictly on medical grade skincare at the moment, Sometimes I'll get a little dryness around the mouth or on the chin and my medical grade moisturizer just doesn't seem to be able to get rid of the tightness or the dryness that I'm feeling. I'll put a little bit of the It Confidence and a cream on and I kid you not, the next morning my skin has repaired itself and that dry tight feeling is gone. So I swear by that moisturizer, um, I love it. And I know some of you will ask, what's the difference between it and the secret sauce? I've tried the Confidence in a Cream, I've tried the secret sauce, and I've tried the uh, Rose Moisturizer. My favorite is still the Confidence in a Cream. It is a bit thicker. They're all nice. However, it's my favorite. The secret sauce, I feel, is a, um, a little thinner consistency than the Confidence in a Cream, and it may be a nice moisturizer for in the summertime. But I just, this is my holy grail. I have not found another moisturizer yet that uh, I like as much as I love this one. And I, I cannot say enough good things about it. Another thing that I love is by Charlotte Tilbury and it is her Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I find that the shade Pillow Talk is the perfect shade for me. 
I don't wear a lip liner all the time, but whenever I do, I like to color my whole lip and then I usually just put a gloss over it because I prefer to wear a lip gloss or a lip balm over more than a lipstick. And I just find that her lip liners, they really apply nicely, they're creamy, they last a long time, and as I said, it's almost a perfect match for my lips. Oh, that's a big stretch. I have my assistant buddy here hanging out with me. Uh, the next thing that I have been through, liters and liters of this stuff through the years, is by L'Occitane, and it is their lavender hand lotion. My daughter usually keeps me stocked up with this every Mother's Day. She'll buy me about three bottles and they will last me for the year. I know it's a hand lotion, but I use it all over my body whenever I get out of the shower. It's, um, it's really nice. It absorbs quickly into the skin and you don't feel sticky after like you can sometimes with some other body moisturizers. And it just has the uh, faintest smell of lavender. I prefer the lavender over the shea smell. That's just a personal preference, but I love that. Now, you know I am a Dior girl. I own, I think, about five Dior fragrances now. I own the original Eau de Parfum. I own Joy, Blooming Bouquet, uh, the Silk Body Mist Spray, which is new to me. And I forget what the other one is, but I will link them all below. You can check out my fragrance video I did a few months ago, and um, I go into more detail about each of the fragrances but they really go well with the pH of my body. They will last for hours on me. They're not overpowering. I suffer with migraines, so I can't use perfumes that are really strong. Everywhere I go, people always say, you smell really nice, what are you wearing? It's not strong, but it's a subtle hint that you're wearing something, and they just, the bottles are beautiful with the little uh, bows on the bottles. I just, I love them. And the newest addition to my Dior fragrance collection is the Miss Dior Silky Body Mist. I got that this spring. And I, after I've had my shower, put my body lotion on, I just like to spritz some of that on me. It's very, very faint. And I wear perfume for myself. I just, perfume, lip gloss, eyebrows, those are my staples for makeup. Uh, you might wanna check that one out. It's, it's really a nice body mist. Another thing that I've had for about a year and absolutely love and I can tell you with absolute certainty that it has really cut down in my hair drying time. I would say by 50 to 60 percent it's my Dyson hair dryer. I have very thick hair and you won't see me with long hair very often except for at the tail end of the uh, lockdown when we were in the pandemic. I think I went four or five months without a haircut. I have a ton of hair. I swear my hair weighs 10 pounds. <laughs> Seriously. I filmed a hair tutorial months ago and I will link it below where I dry my hair and it's unedited and you will see that my hair dries and I think it was like between two and three minutes. It's quick. I love um, that it has three different settings for the strength of the air coming out and three different heat settings. Um, I always dry my hair on the third setting, but I do find that it is, um, it's quite hot and sometimes I'll just feel a little burning on my scalp. So I would say for the Dyson, second setting for the heat is a good setting. I recently upgraded my Dyson. I was a sucker that, that was on the shopping channel as a showstopper and it's a new model. I, I wanted the stand. I didn't get the stand with mine. So, um, I'm still going to keep my original. I'll, I'll pass it on to my daughter, but I really love the Dyson products that I have and I uh, highly recommend the hair dryer. If you can get it on sale, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And it comes with several different attachments as well. The last thing in the beauty and skincare category is my Dermaflash. It's my skin exfoliating machine that I bought this spring. I have a video on it that I will link below. Basically, it's to take off any peach fuzz on the face because once you get to be a certain age, you can start to grow peach fuzz and whiskers. They recommend that it can be done every week, I believe. What I have found that works for me is I would say every four to six weeks. Because I have sensitive skin, I don't feel that I should do it every week. It's a great little machine. It really takes away all the unwanted hair or peach fuzz. If I have any dead skin, that my exfoliating products haven't taken off. This machine takes it off. It doesn't hurt. 
and it's just kind of a neat feeling. Of course, I'm a skincare addict. I love anything to do with the skin, but I just thought I wanted to mention that in case you wanted to, um, to check into that and give it a try. Whenever you buy the kit, I think it comes with five disposable, we'll call them razor heads. You throw them out after every use, and I did stock up on them during the Sephora Spring Sale. I bought, I think, 10 extra heads, so that was a good deal. And because I only use mine, you know, once every four to six weeks, that's going to be sufficient for the year. So go check out my video if you're interested in doing uh, at-home facial exfoliation. It really does a great job. So now we're going to look at my fashion recommendations. Well, you see me wear these in a lot of my videos and they are the Castlon rounded v-neck t-shirts. I probably have about five now, three of which are pink and it seems every year they have different shades of pink. I'm hoping to score a blue one this year. I find they are run a little big in size on me. I have very broad shoulders, so sometimes it's hard for me to get a good fitting shirt that you know fits my shoulders and isn't too big everywhere else. So I do like how these fit me and I like that it's a rounded v-neck because I am short and because I have a round face, I just like to have a v-neck just because it makes the face look a little slimmer. So love those and you can pick them up on sale. I mean, they're relatively inexpensive. Every year since Nordstrom came to Canada, which is about seven to 10 years ago, every August when the sale was on, I would make the trip to Ottawa because I don't have a Nordstrom where I live. It's either an hour and a half in one direction or five hours in the other direction. So the next thing that I want to recommend to you that I love and I have carried it every day for the last probably 14 months since I bought it and it is my coach Cassie purse. The videos are linked below in the description box. I think I've made two or three on that purse. Uh, yeah, it's between three and four hundred dollars, but that purse looks as brand new as the day I bought it. I have it in black with the gold or brass hardware. I wish it had silver hardware. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. I don't like gold or brass, as a lot of you have also told me that you don't either. It's great, it's a crossbody. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can carry it by the handle. It holds so much stuff. And the leather quality from Coach, they have some of the best leather purses. I'm sure that purse will be in my closet for many, many years. And I'm someone that likes to edit stuff. I don't like clutter. But this is, um, it's a classic purse and it's perfect. It's a perfect now, especially with COVID because it's a crossbody. I can run in and out of the grocery store and I don't have to worry about walking away from my cart because I have a bad habit of leaving my purse in my cart. So that's why I like a crossbody whenever I go shopping. I have a pair of the Tory Burch Miller flip-flop sandals. I have them in the color. I think it's called Makeup. It's a beige neutral. If they go on sale, I want to grab a pair of the black. Not the black patent, just the, the dull black or I don't know what you call the finish. But I really like them because I don't wear heels and they they do dress up an outfit in the summertime. Even if it's a pair of shorts or a nice little dress, um, they're dressy enough for me for anything that I'm going to do in my life. I have a very casual laid back life and I mean we don't go to fancy parties or anything like that but even when I cruise on captain's night and I get dressed up I put a pair of those sandals with my dress and I think I look nice like I never liked high heels and I'm not wearing high heels they're also very comfortable and they are like a tong the tong goes between your toes I've never had any issues with blistering so they're very very comfortable to wear and another thing I want to mention is the UGG slippers that I wear every day. A lot of times these slippers will make my monthly favorites. I cannot say enough good things about UGG. I go bare feet 365 days a year now. I wear them around the house like summer when it's 90 degrees. My feet do not sweat in them. They have a very hard sole. I showed you a while back my original pair. They were eight years old. Um, the sole was still almost like brand new and I wear them inside and outside. And when I lived in the country, I would actually wear them out in the winter time to go get my mail at the end of the road, which I don't recommend because it's slippery, but just to prove the point that they last. 
And why did I have to change them? Because my toes had started to poke through the, um, the end. But I mean, I could still be wearing them. So they didn't owe me anything. And lots of times I know things cost a little bit of money up front. The initial costs, I mean, things will last you for years. I had to change the camera battery. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is a Burberry scarf. I own one, I bought it in Chicago when we visited four years ago. I have no idea if they come on sale during the Nordstrom sale because there's no way that I can preview it. But if they do, you might wanna snag one of those. I have it in the color pink. I would love to get one in the original a Burberry shade of the beige. Again, to me that is a, a classic piece that you can have for years and years and years if you take good care of it. Two items that I absolutely love and I bought them from the Nordstrom sale in the past is the Barefoot Dreams Circle Cardigan. I love that if it's true to size. They do have a plus size, which is nice. I have it in blue. This year I would like to get the light cozy chic cardigan, I think is what it's called. It's a little longer because in the winter time, because I'm at that age where, you know, it's hot one minute and still hot the next minute, I find that I'm going around with uh, sleeveless tops now, even in the winter. So I just like to have a sweater to throw on. And then if I get a hot flash, can easily take it off. And the thing that I like about the longer one is, I think in the fall, say if I had to run to the store for groceries and needed a jacket, I think it's dressy enough that you could easily put that on over a pair of jeans or whatever, and it would still look uh, dressy enough to go out and about and run errands. So I'm hoping that they come on sale. I have one in my cart right now, hoping I can click buy whenever the sale does open to us. But uh, as I said, I'm not sure if it's going on sale here or what color choices we're going to have. Because right now uh, we don't have many choices. And another thing that by Barefoot Dreams is their Cozy Chic Throw. Now they have several throws, but the one I have is the Cozy Chic. And it comes in many different colors. I have, I think it's white or ivory right now. It washes like a towel. It's so soft. Buddy and I love to snuggle in that all winter when we're watching TV. So I'd like to get a nice blue one this year. I'll probably regret it though because blue will show like so much of Buddy's hair. But like I said, it's so easy to clean and to wash. So now we're going into my final category and uh, things for the home or lifestyle. I love my Swell water bottle. I drink about three to four liters of water every day. I don't drink coffee or tea. We have a thing in our fridge where you can get uh, filtered water. It's great because it's saving the environment by not using plastic bottles. You're saving money not buying the water and it really keeps water cool for as long as uh, it's gonna be sitting in the bottle. It comes in all different colors, all different sizes. Another thing that I use almost every day, and especially when I'm editing my videos, is by Bose, and it is their noise-canceling headphones. I don't have the wireless ones, but I would like to get the wireless because it would be nice just to uh, have them whenever I go outside for a walk because I don't like those things you have to stick in your ears. They just, they hurt. So I'm going to keep my eyes open and see if they go on sale because I want the wireless ones but I love these. You can use them on the airplane if you're traveling, not that I'm going anywhere in the next year until COVID gets gone. They, they're just great. They don't hurt the ears. Like sometimes when you have over the ear headphones, I find they will like cut off on uh, the back of the ear and it can kind of hurt. I can wear these for hours editing my videos and I even forget that I'm wearing them because they, they're light and they're very soft and um, great sound. And another thing that I love and I have two of, and it is my Dyson vacuum. I love all things Dyson. I'm really surprised how much I love the vacuums. It's unreal how much cat hair we pick up every day with Buddy in the house. And we always had a built-in vacuum, so we never really got to see the cat hair or the dirt. My husband loves it. The thing about the Dyson one, I have two. I have the big ball one with the, it's called the animal attachment one. Maybe I should try and vacuum Buddy. 
but I think he'd be scared of the noise. It's unreal, like after I vacuum the house, like how much cat hair is in there. And it's nice because uh, it's plastic, you can see through it, and it also has a filter that you take out and you wash it once a month, just in the kitchen sink with dishwasher, so you don't have to buy replacement filters. It comes apart and you can carry, it turns into like a little vacuum, and my husband will take it out in the garage and he'll like vacuum up the car. And I have two upstairs. We have the big one that plugs into the wall and you pull it around. And then downstairs we have the stick one, not the, not the upright, but the small stick one. And it holds a charge for about 45 minutes and the suction on it is so good. Um, like I said, I'm really surprised how much we, we enjoy the Dyson because we always had a built-in vacuum cleaner like in our other house. And I wanted to try something different for this one. And it's nice, it's light, does a great job. So don't be afraid to uh, spend the money on a Dyson if that's something that you were thinking of because they really, really are great. So those are the things that I own and love and I have purchased at Nordstrom throughout the years. And I just wanted to share them with you because if you were sort of on the fence about any of them, I just wanted you to, just to know that they, they are great products. I would love it if you let me know in the comment section what some of your Nordstrom favorites are that you uh, have purchased and throughout the years and can suggest to me that that's something that I might be interested in. So if you have just stumbled across my channel, welcome and I hope that you will click the subscribe button and join my little family here at Kathy's Life Over 50. I am 52 and I love skincare, I love fashion, I uh, love doing makeup tutorials and I love shopping. <laughs> So my channel is a little bit about everything. I have some recipes in the works because you guys have asked me to do more recipes. If you haven't watched my lemon cheesecake video, go check it out. That thing took off about mid-April and it's got, I think, over 120,000 views on it now. It's a four ingredient recipe and it's so good and so easy to make. It's very refreshing for the summertime. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share my channel, my video with your friends and family. My goal is to reach 10,000 viewers by the end of the year. I was so happy to reach 5,000 for my birthday. I've been at this now for I think three to four years off and on and um, I just want to let you know that I appreciate each and every one of you. And I just love, you know, chatting back and forth with you all in the comments section. And I want to thank you for always being so supportive and so kind because it really, I really do appreciate it. And that's what keeps me coming back because I really consider you uh, my friends. So stay healthy and safe and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.